Hi, hello, welcome and welcome. This is your the first step academy, learn and grow education medium. PH 8151 Engineering Physics Unit 1 Properties of Matter La Torachia Problem Discuss Panitruko and the Vakela Problem Number 7 a kind of Solution in the video of Pakapuro Kelvi Thalio Padruo Kelvi in a uniform rectangular bar 1 meter long, 2 centimeter broad, and 0.5 centimeter thick is supported on its flat face symmetrically on two knife edges 70 centimeter apart. If loads are 200 gram are hung from the two ends, the elevation of the center of the bar is 48 millimeter. Find the Young's modulus of the bar. So, as I uh, frequently telling you, we need to read the problem very carefully. Based on the understanding only, we can easily solve the problem. So, uh, what are the values given? length of the bar, breadth of the bar, thickness of the bar and distance between the two knife edges they have given and what are the load applied that also given and what are the elevation produced given and they are asking us to find out the Young's modulus right fine the values given we know the question exactly what they asked we understood now we need to pick up the formula we need to find out only the Young's modulus right in what method look at elevation of the center in the tanga. yes in the bar if we apply the load if elevation is produced then what kind of bending it is yes it is uniform bending right that's it we need to pick up the expression as a formula from the uniform bending so Young's modulus of the beam by uniform bending expression is capital Y is equal to 3 mg a l square divided by 2 bd cube into small y where here y is the Young's modulus m is mass applied g is acceleration due to gravity small a is the distance between the load applied and the knife edge and l is the distance between the two knife edges b is the breadth of the bar d is the thickness of the bar and y is the elevation produced so this is the exact formula and if you look at the problem all the values has already given so we need to directly feed the value into this formula and we can get the value meantime what are the values given that we need to look out and we need to rewrite it because they have given they are not exactly given in SI units so whatever the value given in the problem we should not directly feed into the formula that we need to convert suitable SI units convert number substitute right and the first one length of the bar 1 meter let it be and breadth of the bar B they have given as 2 centimeter that we need to convert to the meter as 2 into 10 power minus 2 meter next thickness of the bar D they have given as 0.5 centimeter that we need to convert into the meter as 0.5 into 10 power minus 2 meter now the load applied the mass they have given value is 200 gram so 1 gram is equal to 10 power minus 3 kilogram hence 200 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram that we have taken next distance between the two knife edges they have given 70 centimeter so that we need to convert to the meter we know 1 centimeter is 10 power minus 2 meter so 70 into 10 power minus 2 meter that is we are representing here as L L is distance between two knife edges next distance between knife edge and the load how do we calculate look at the problem so they said that 200 gram are hung from the two ends of the bar right two ends of the bar now the length of the bar is 1 meter and distance between the two knife edge already we know 70 centimeter so the distance between the one knife edge and the load that will become as 15 centimeter because total 1 meter is 100 centimeter already 70 centimeter is distance between the two knife edges remaining 30 centimeters are there so there are the two sides so 30 divided by 2 is 15 centimeter so the distance between the knife edge and the load applied is 15 centimeter that's what we obtained this is the way that we need to approach the problem uh, extract the values from the problem right so now distance between the two knife edges and load is 15 centimeter where a that we are representing a small a is equal to 15 into 10 power minus 2 meter i am converting into meter 
Now, elevation produced already they have given as 48 millimeter. That we need to convert to the meter as 48 into 10 power minus 3 meter because 1 millimeter is equal to 10 power minus 3 meter. Now, we have all the values in a proper units, right? Now, we need to substitute these values in the formula, right? So, now I am going to substitute. So, 3 into mass is 200 into 10 power minus 3 into G is 9.8. Already we know it is a constant. So, next A is 15 into 10 power minus 2 into where L is 17 into 10 power minus 2 where we need to square it. Square it. Divided by 2 into 2 into 10 power minus 2 is breadth and 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 2 is thickness that we need to cube it and then 48 into 10 power minus 3 is the elevation produced. Now, substitute it thoroughly here. Feed all this value in the calculator, scientific calculator using your proper brackets for numerator and denominator and within a one click and you will obtain the value as represent over here. So, we got the value as 1800 into 10 power 2. Already we know the Young's modulus value will be in 10 power 10. Hence, we need to convert this value into 10 power 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After the 8 digit, we need to put the decimal point. Hence, 0 0.18 into 10 power 10 Newton meter power minus 2. That is the value we obtained. That is the value for Young's modulus. So, the Young's modulus of the given bar is 0 0.18 into 10 power 10 Newton meter minus 2. Hope you understand how we solve this problem. Thank you for watching. This is your the first step academy learn and grow education video.